What's up guys? I just spent like half an hour to an hour filming my Mormonism video. So thank you everyone that left a comment yesterday. Very helpful. It helped me just kind of keep my thoughts in the right direction. The video is done. It'll be up most likely tomorrow. Now we film for the second channel. So what do we do today? <laughs> what do we do today? Uh, well, I'm out, so come join me. Not too sure where we're going at the moment. We're just kind of exploring. Find you. We gotta find you. Oh, it's getting away. What's up, sheep? Right, so I love to climb things, especially man made structures. The only thing that I don't climb is electricity. It's the only thing that I don't mess with. But the temptation though, like that is a mighty climbing frame. I would love to climb it. I just don't mess with electricity. I don't understand it enough to want to get close. If anyone out there does understand how these pylons work, can you tell me if it's safe to climb just the metal? Because obviously I'm not gonna be near the wire, but is it safe to even go up there? Yeah, let me know if you understand how it all works. so bad. So obviously we all know this sign but that sign starts here at this point where the barbed wire is. That makes me think that this structure is actually okay to be on. Please don't do this and obviously don't take my word as gospel because I don't know the truth. All I know is that the wires are very high up. Does that make the structure safe? Uh, I need to do some research when I get home. But yeah these things are great climbing frames. I've always wanted to come to the top of one, but I, I just don't mess with electricity, you know? Even this is kind of worrying me because I'm too close to death <laughs> up there. Does this kind of stuff worry other people? Because <laughs> if it does, just wait until I get the GoPro videos posted. I can do some crazy climbing videos with them. Like maybe you guys don't realize it, or maybe you haven't been around for very long. I am quite an extreme person when it comes to chasing adrenaline and doing things I shouldn't. I've done a lot of crazy stuff. And now that I have a GoPro chest mount, I can really kind of up my game when it comes to extreme videos. Now we're back in the woods. Nice.
this wall is holding the weight of a tree this size. That's so amazing. Like, <laughs> it's just lucky that the roots aren't like taking over. The roots are kind of keeping to the line of the wall. And here as well, there's another one. That's amazing. Random rope swings. <laughs> Caught some ferns. It's summer solstice today. You guys are taller than me right now. Woo! Still can't handstand. <laughs> so yeah, sol summer solstice today, longest day of the year. Happy solstice everyone. Well done, we made it. We made it to 2020 solstice. <sighs> I love that little trail, it's kind of my gateway to everything. I, I can access the mountains and pretty much everywhere from there. It's still wet. I don't know why he does this, every time we get a towel out he goes nuts. <laughs> like, what are you doing bro? This is not how you use a towel. <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you do this? I'm trying to dry you every time. Why? It's just a towel. Let me try you. Let me try you. Ain't it? Thank you. Why does he love towels so much? I don't understand. Yes. Why do you do this? Just stand in there. I didn't film the process, but I made a wrap. <laughs> You guys yesterday were asking for more cooking with Jason. I don't cook very often, but I can I can learn some dishes and we can like watch and you can we can learn together. This is my go-to wrap though. It's just got all the things in it. It's full of the things. I'm making a bonfire. This took me ages to get going because a lot of the wood's really wet, it's been, it's been raining a lot. But yeah, it just uh, it suddenly picked up. Let's go! Woo! Happy solstice everyone! <laughs> <laughs>